news on Battlefield 5's next big update, scheduled for May instead of April. A team balancer supposedly in the works, uncertainty surrounding next week's Tides of War and originally scheduled content, and a beautiful 12 man with the grease gun on grind. This is your week on the battlefield. Welcome to this episode of This Week on the Battlefield, the show where we cover news, updates, the community, and so much more all around the Battlefield franchise. As per usual, there's much to cover, so let's jump straight into it. Our main news story this week, yes, there is finally once more something to report, is the community broadcast providing an update on future updates. As regards the scheduled early April update, that has now unfortunately been cancelled. Instead of providing us with an unfinished update, they're just going to roll the changes and fixes they were intending on making into the May update, combining the two and providing for a more substantial patch. So what do we know about the upcoming update and what does this mean for the remainder of chapter 6? Well, the two elites, Steve Fisher and Akira Sakamoto, Outpost on Twisted Steel and more vehicle customization options will not release until May. Content that was originally scheduled to be introduced by the early April update. Also expect most if not all of the remaining weekly Tides of War assignments to reward tier reward skip tokens or alternatively of course if you've already finished unlocking all of the chapter 6 rewards, 100 boins a pop. As regards the May update then, community manager Part Welsh has provided us with some details on a couple of changes being made, mainly surrounding in-game soldiers and vehicle cosmetics for default and common skins. It should be noted this is just a teaser of one aspect the update will be focusing on, supposedly larger changes and additions will be coming and are yet to be announced, more details to be provided during April. As regards soldier cosmetics though, DICE is revisiting the colors on some of the default soldier uniforms, trying to make them a little bit more historically accurate. On the vehicle side, transport and reinforcement vehicles are having map and environment appropriate skin changes, so as to make them fit in a little bit better with the environments they're spawned in. Two examples were provided and essentially mean that if you now spawn in a reinforcement vehicle on a desert map, it's no longer going to stick out like a sore thumb as it is bright green as it will now be more appropriately colored in yellow. In terms of our other weekly news nuggets, we have of course the weekly Tide of War assignment, Uprising, featuring objective and infantry focused tasks centered around conquest and netting you of course the usual chapter reward skip token. To go alongside it, we have the Uprising playlist featuring infantry focused conquest maps, specifically Operation Underground, Marita, Devastation and of course Rotterdam. Next week, as of now, we know very little about what is coming. The weekly Tides of War assignment is called For a Fistful of Sand and supposedly originally included references to the data mined Pacific Ocean map, though currently it is not as per usual would be the case visible in game as to what exactly the specific assignments are as DICE hasn't announced anything surrounding this new data mined Pacific Ocean map, most likely we won't be getting a new map next week, or at least that's my personal interpretation of it all. And the reason the weekly Tide of War assignment is yet to be made visible is that DICE is still in the process of changing it around to reflect the new reality that is no new map for this week. But in our ever popular, ever evolving and increasingly rare soon TM category of news, we have confirmation by community manager Jeff Braddock that some sort of team balancer is in fact being worked on, though the scope of it, or of course more importantly the release date, is currently not known. In not soon TM news, something that isn't necessarily a staple of this show but of relevance this week, Part Welsh was able to provide some details on some of the most requested features or missing features in Battlefield 5 that regrettably won't be making their way into the game anytime soon. In terms of in-game assignment changing, this is simply currently not possible with Battlefield 5 because it would require a significant rework of the information traffic systems that would not only be complicated but hugely resource intensive. This is a real bummer, at least in my personal opinion. How this wasn't thought of during the development to me is a little bit mind boggling. The assignments are after all a significant part of the game's progression but implemented in a way that makes them essentially unusable for most players in an intuitive and enjoyable way. 
and not to leave things there on the progression note on the subject of ribbons, a feature that wasn't present at launch but added later and then removed again with update 5.0 because of crippling bugs. Sadly, this likely won't be coming back anytime soon. Apparently, a complete rework of the system from the ground up would be required, again because of the bugs associated with it, something that would require, again, significant dev resources, which DICE has decided are currently better spent on other areas. But on a more positive note, in our temporal goodness, as always of course to be taken with a generous helping of salt given the data mining origins of the provided information. We have a new gadget found in the game files, the Kampfpistole. Clearly unfinished, it works similar to the existing grenade launcher for the assault, just instead of the charges exploding on impact, they actually have a delay and function much more like a grenade launcher. We also have some cosmetics, specifically the Ambuscade legendary set for the archer tank and two new melee weapons one of which, the Knuckle Duster, will be unique to the upcoming Steve Fisher Elite, which was of course regrettably delayed until May. But over in our only in Battlefield moments, this week we start off with the Rush Shot, playing on Grind, Twisted Steel and going for a massive back rage with this beautiful gold Grease Gun. Remember, if you want your own clips featured on the This Week on the Battlefield show, don't forget to submit them for consideration either at defineddisaster at gmail.com or over on Twitter at defineddisaster. Next up, we have another great infantry clip, this time Rush, and by Dipsomaniac going for the clutch disarm on the last Rush objective over on Aros. Then in something you don't see every day, we have Mac McMillan getting a triple with a dinghy boat. And lastly, we have Rudy Brudy showing us all what the value of patience is, even in a game like Battlefield 5. But coming to the end of this week's episode then, if you enjoyed the show, found it interesting or entertaining, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share, and of course hit me up with your feedback, suggestions, and opinions down below in the comments or over on Twitter. But with all that being said, I'd like to thank you very much for watching, and hope to see you in the next episode of this week on The Battlefield.